Hello, and welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, we are going to look at how you can share or link information between objects using a couple of different methods. Let's use this Fitness Club membership card as an example. Let's say we just instituted a new barcode reading system, and we want to add a barcode to our membership cards. You can see that we already have the member's membership number on the card, and we want to use that number, or data, to populate the barcode. Since both objects are going to use the exact same data, what we can do is create a named data source that can be used by multiple objects on the template. To do this, we open up the properties of our text object, select the member number data source, and give it the name member number. In the toolbox, you can see that we now have two named data sources, one for the member name and now one for member number. Now we can open the properties of the barcode object by right-clicking it and selecting Properties. Since we want to link the member number data source to the barcode object now, let's select the data source for this object that has the blue embedded data source icon next to it. We can see that the embedded data for this barcode object is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the default embedded data source for barcode objects, and now we need to change the data source to the member number name data source. To do this, click the Change Data Source Type icon, and in the Type drop down menu, we can see the option to link to an existing named data source. We select that option and click Next. Now we need to tell Bartender which named data source we want to link to. When we open up the Data Source drop down menu, we see the two named data sources to choose from member name and member number. Once we select member number and click Finish, you can see that the number on the barcode has changed to match the member number in our text object. It is important to keep in mind that these two objects are using the same data source. If you make any changes to this data source in either object, the change will be reflected in both objects. This can be useful if you use the same data in multiple places on your document. If any changes ever need to be made to the data, you only have to do it once and every instance of that data source will change. For example, if we change the member number in the barcode object, the member number in the text object also changes. So to share the same data between objects, you can create a named data source that can be used in multiple objects on your document. Let's look at another way to share data between objects. Suppose that the first two digits of our member number represent the year that the member joined, and we want to indicate that on the membership card. We can make a single line text object with two data sources, an embedded data source for our text and a second data source that references the barcode member number data source to extract only the first two digits. Instead of using the member number name data source to get the information we want, we can use the object value data source. When we click Next, Bartender asks us to specify which object to get the data from and what value we want from within that object. In this case, the barcode one object and the human readable text. If we look at the member sense text object, we can see that the entire membership number is there. To extract the first two digits, we need to use a transform to change the data so that we only see the first two digits. The truncation transform is ideally suited to perform this action. To use a transform, you click on the icon next to that transforms field to open up its options dialog. The truncation transform truncates or shortens a data entry. You can use it to trim spaces, discard characters, or simply keep characters on either side of a data entry. We want to keep the first two characters of the membership number, or the first two characters on the left side of the number, and discard the rest. When we click OK, the transform action is listed in the truncation transform field. And when we look at our document, the member sense text object now displays the year from the first two digits of the barcode number without altering the barcode or the membership number in any way. Let's look a little bit closer at what is actually happening when we use this object method to share data between objects. The first thing to point out is that in the object value data source, there is no place to enter text or a value of any kind. It only gives you the option to choose from the various objects on your template. It is important to understand that it is referencing the object as the data source, 
and not the actual data source of the object, any changes made to the original data source will be reflected in the object value data source. However, making changes to the object value data source will not alter the original data source. In fact, the only way to make any changes to the object value data source is by using a transform or changing the data type, and that will not affect the original data source in any way. To quickly recap, in this video, we looked at two ways to share or link information between objects on your bartender document. The named data sources method allows you to directly share the same data source between objects. The object value method allows you to link to another object on your template and reference it as a data source. If you still have questions about this process, consult the bartender help system or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching. <music>